My name is Amr Azim. I'm a reproductive endocrinologist at New York City IVF. Um, I wanted to talk to you today about uh, a severe form of male factor infertility called azospermia. Azospermia means the absence of detectable sperm in the ejaculate. Uh, in other words, a uh, couple come for fertility consultation. One of the initial lab tests is a sperm analysis. The sperm analysis shows no sperm. And um, uh, this uh, diagnosis requires, um, uh, and treatment requires uh, um, um, uh, multiple expertise uh, to get to, uh, to, to a successful outcome at the, at the end. Uh, when a man is diagnosed with no sperm in the ejaculate, four things need to happen. Uh, the first thing is, is it truly as a sperm? So a repeat sperm analysis should be performed uh, with spinning of the sperm sample multiple times in case few sperm were missed in the initial sperm analysis. This should be done in a lab that has capability of uh, sperm freezing immediately. This is valuable biological material, cannot be used to waste and cannot be done in a regular lab that does not have uh, a sperm freezing capability. Uh, once the diagnosis of azospermia is ascertained, the next three things has to happen. So number two, a genetic evaluation of uh, the male part. Uh, in, in a subset of uh, men with azospermia, about uh, uh, 10%, uh, there is a genetic underlying reason. Uh, the genetic underlying reason could be because he has an, uh, an abnormalities in the sex chromosomes. Uh, an example of that could be Klein-Felter syndrome, which has an extra X chromosome, or a defect or a, a, a piece of the, uh, uh, the, the genes that direct uh, the testes to make sperm uh, on the Y chromosome is absent. And, uh, and, and uh, the, the third uh, genetic or inherited reason, uh, well-known reason for uh, absence of sperm, uh, would be a congenital bilateral absence of the vase, which is a variant of cystic fibrosis and can lead to sperm production, but the sperm cannot egress or come out of the testis to the outside because the duct called the vase def deference that conducts the sperm from the testis to the outside is genetically not existing. It's very important that genetic factors are investigated because they can be potentially passed to uh, uh, offspring. For example, uh, a defect in the Y chromosome uh, in a father uh, can be transferred to his uh, uh, male uh, offspring, male children. Uh, the third thing that has to happen is an evaluation of the female partner, especially ovarian reserve. Uh, the, the, which is defined as the number and the quality of eggs remaining in the ovary at a given age. Uh, this is usually performed via uh, performing a vaginal ultrasound for interfocal count, uh, getting a blood sample for day three FSH or anti-mullerian hormone uh, to get a very good idea about the number of eggs in the ovary. And this is extremely important because uh, the, the, uh, men with no sperm coming in the ejaculate, men with azospermia, require IVF with intracytoplasmic sperm injection because even with successful sperm retrieval, the number of sperm retrieved um, is, is, uh, is not going to be enough for intercourse or insemination. So the few sperm that will be retrieved need to be injected directly into the egg and the success of IVF is very much dependent on ovarian reserve and age of the female partner. So thorough evaluation of the female is, is, is a priority. The fourth thing is urological evaluation of the male. And uh, a meeting with a urologist well-versed in um, uh, uh, male reproductive medicine and surgery is a must. Um, uh, the urologist will uh, do an examination, an ultrasound, and some other lab tests. And the aim is to A, differentiate between azospermia because of no production of sperm in the testes, or because of obstruction, means the sperm 
is being produced, but it cannot come out because of a block. And and there is and and, and um, when when azospermia is due to block, uh, it is um, uh, much easier to harvest sperm from the testes, and the success of harvesting sperm from the testes is much higher than when there in, ca in cases when, when where there is no production. Um, and uh, in, in addition to other factors, uh, after this ev the evaluation is, uh, phase is completed. Uh, if no sperm was found in the ejaculate, then the next step is to try to harvest sperm directly from the testes. In obstructed cases, uh, uh, the sperm could be harvested from the testes or from the ducts of the testes. And in cases with no sperm production, sperm has to be harvested directly from the testes. The uh, procedure is called TESE, T-E-S-E, -E, uh, testicular sperm uh, extraction. And the technique of this procedure is, is extremely important and increases the chance of finding sperm in the testes. It is not, it's not enough, it doesn't suffice to take a biopsy from one spot in the testes and say there is or there is none, because you could hit an area that does not have sperm production, while sperm production exists in other areas. So a diligent search of sperm in the testes is required. In, in the, there are two general techniques. One of them uses, utilizes microsurgery. The testis is split open and then multiple biopsies, multiple minute biopsies are taken from multiple spots in the testis under the microscope and then directly uh, checked for the presence of sperm. And the search continues till sperm is found uh, in, in one or both testis. Um, the other technique is uh, is a blind technique where multiple biopsies are done while uh, the the testis is uh, while the testis is not bisected open. Um, uh, the, the the point is there has to be a, a diligent uh, search by a, 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 a very um, a, a experienced surgeon with the uh, with the sperm retrieval methods uh, from the testis. Once sperm is found, then sperm can be used for IVF. Uh, sperm can be used for IV can be frozen if IVF is going to be done later, or uh, uh, it could be used in a fresh state, and that would require that the female partner would be stimulated, and the sperm extraction be done uh, on the same day as egg retrieval or immediately the day before. As I mentioned. Uh, uh, IVF and injection of the sperm into the egg is required with any method for sperm retrieval, uh, surgical sperm retrieval from the testes because uh, any method will not produce enough sperm for uh, intrauterine insemination or IOI. Now the success uh, of uh, treatment of azospermia depends on, on two factors. The success of retrieval of sperm is dependent on whether it's obstructive or due to reduced production uh, and um, also dependent on the underlying genetic factor uh, and depends on whether it's the a primary procedure or a, a, a repeat procedure after a failed attempt primary procedure obviously would have much much uh, better uh, uh, chance urologists usually would counsel men about the success rate based on, on, on these findings. And the second point is once sperm is found, the success is, uh, is uh, um, almost solely dependent on ovarian reserve, the number of eggs and the quality of eggs remaining in the ovary, uh, uh, more, sp more specifically the age of the female part. Uh, uh, usually, um, um, the majority of uh, children uh, conceived after surgical sperm ret retrieval from the testes uh, uh, are healthy and uh, uh, do not show an increased risk of uh, um, abnormalities if genetic uh, causes were excluded. Thank you.